Hello, welcome to Preflight TV. I'm Mark Newman, and this is episode number six. This episode brought to you by Mosey, online backup for your PC or Mac. In this episode, we're going to discuss electronic logbooks and um, why you might want to move from a paper logbook to an electronic logbook. Um, it, I could get into a review, but um, I don't think that's really the question that we want to answer. We, we want to know uh, why would you want to move and uh, what the hurdles you're going to face in moving to an electronic logbook. If you want to see a review, go to the website preflight.tv and I've reviewed a few of uh, logbooks and I have a spreadsheet there comparing them and the prices on the website. Um, now, first of all, nobody needs an electronic logbook. In fact, it's probably better that you don't depend on one um, at all. An electronic logbook is not faster, it's not easier, and it's inherently less accurate. I mean, what I mean by that is um, garbage in, garbage out. In software, it's very easy to delete a word or transpose a number or a hundred other things at the touch of a button. Sure, correcting it is easy, but um, if you make a mistake on paper, you know what you just wrote. And uh, you can see um, what you corrected from to what you corrected to uh, much easier than you can if you deleted a cell in a database. Having said that, nearly all of us are still considering using electronic logbooks. And if you ask me, we're not going to have paper logbooks in the future, and probably sooner rather than later. I, for one, chose uh, log 10 here, and you can find a review of it and others on the preflight.tv website. And uh, all said and done, there are three benefits to any electronic logbook. One, reports. This can include uh, automated currency calculations, medicals, limits, and biannuals. You want to know how long it's been since you've last flown a specific airplane or uh, when the last time you flew in a particular approach is? If it's in the database, you can do a search for it. Two, convenience. You carry your cell phone with you everywhere. If you want to uh, have an entry into your paper logbook, you don't need your paper logbook with you. You can just punch it in. It's, it could be extremely convenient. If it's on the web, no difference. You just punch it in right there on your cell phone or your uh, iPad or your computer. But I think a cell phone is really kind of a necessary thing. Uh, three, backup. I mean, and once you're a pilot, you should never carry your paper logbook with you at all. I mean, if you lose this thing, you have to create a new one. Yes, you're the author of your logbook, but um, it's proof of your currency. If you lose it, it's a kind of pain to make it again. If it's an electronic logbook, you've got a copy of it. You can have it backed up you know, to the, to the web, to your hard drive, to other places. You can have lots of copies of this thing. Um, in fact, your paper logbook, should, uh, you should have copies of that right now. And if you don't, um, go and make some copies of your paper logbook right now. Um, I'll sit here and I'll wait. Well, no, I'm not going to wait. Pause the show and come back and then, and then watch the rest of it. Um, in the future, everything is going to be maintained digitally. And so if you're thinking about things like, oh, I want to keep this logbook. I like the tactile feel of it. Um, paper uh, degrades over time. Now, I'm not saying, and I'm just, just me as a computer geek uh, saying this. Paper degrades over time. And, uh, you know, you want everything to be digital. You don't want everything to be paper because, you know, you're great-great-grandchildren, they, they're going to have to be with kit gloves looking at your logbook, where if it's electronic form, they can see the whole thing, they can cruise through it, it's, it's forever. So I, I think electronic, in terms of all data, from music to everything else, I think that everything's going to be this way. Uh, paper is really a thing of the past. We're just, I mean, my opinion, I think that's just the way it's going to be. But we're not quite there yet. Speaking of backups, this episode of Preflight TV, we have an affiliate, Mosey. Mosey is online backup done in the background. It works with PCs as well as Macs. And at $5 a month, it's very affordable. You spend a lot of money on your computer equipment, your desktop monitors, laptops, CD hard drives, USB sticks, all this in an effort to consume or create some kind of data. Whether you've taken photos of every aircraft at Oshkosh or have a huge MP3 collection, it's irrelevant. The data is important to you and it can be gone in a blink if you don't have it backed up. Not just backed up locally, but remotely. Some place out of your house or your business. What if there was a flood or a theft? Why make things worse than they have to be? At least if you had your files backed up on the web with a service like Mosey, your bad day wouldn't be as catastrophic. It's insurance, not to mention that if you delete your own files accidentally and you realize it later, you'll be able to get it back from Mosey as well. 
So sign up for the home edition with PFT coupon code and get 15% off of the home edition or PFT15 to get 15% off of the business edition. And that on the home edition amounts to about a month and a half free a year. All right, back to the logbooks. Electronic logbooks can have many features. Some of them keep a trip diary or uh, photographs or calculate distances um, and fuel and, and many, many other things. However, these features are not specific to a logbook. It's more about them being a database. I mean, you can use Excel or Numbers or Google Docs for your logbook if you really wanted to, and they'll work just fine. But they don't have configured reports and aren't convenient when you figure out all the time it'll take to get them working the way you want. No, an electronic logbook needs to be designed as an electronic logbook. Otherwise, it's just a spreadsheet. And a note about spreadsheets. If you're thinking about using a spreadsheet, all you really need are the pieces of information are only the pieces of information that um, are about your currency. Uh, what I mean by that is don't duplicate your paper logbook in a spreadsheet. I mean, you're really just wasting a lot of your time. All, if you're a VFR pilot, all you really care about for the most part um, for your currency is how many landings you've been doing day or night. And so keep a spreadsheet that just has that. That's all you need. You don't need to put anything else about the flight. You don't need to have all your flights. You just need to have just enough information there. You know, okay, I'm current. I've got these last three flights in there. And that's all you really know. It's an augmentation, not a duplicate. Um, you could also put your medical and biannual in a spreadsheet. And it's very simple. It doesn't have to be anything all that, that massive. And if you want to, if you want to put everything in a spreadsheet, you can. It's just, it's just, um, it becomes a lot of work because then you have this paper uh, logbook and then this other spreadsheet. If you're a commercial pilot, and I really don't want to give advice to commercial pilots because I'm not, but if you're a commercial pilot, then all you're really caring about is, uh, is the limits and you don't need to have the whole logbook or a page of your logbook in there. All you need are the totals. That'll get you the information you need or maybe the totals for the last month or whatever it is that you're trying to figure out. Um, you don't need to have every single flight in a spreadsheet either. Um, so depending on what you're doing, um, Spreadsheets are best if they are pared down and not not every single piece of the data. And that's where electronic logbooks can differ quite a bit. By the way, if you have any spreadsheets that you'd like to share with the rest of us, send it to me, Mark, M-R-C, at preflight.tv, and I'll put it on the website and uh, share it with everybody. And maybe somebody will appreciate your uh, spreadsheet. Um, now, also, I'm not trying to convince anyone not to get an electronic logbook. I, for one, bought Log10, and it's a pretty good software here. But it hasn't made my life simpler. It's actually made it a little bit more complicated. And the uh, I can add photos to aircraft I fly. It'll calculate distance of legs based on the way waypoints on the airports. The problem is I still need paper. Uh, my instructor it needs to sign something. And uh, the F if I want to have an FAA examiner again, they're going to want to sign something as well. And no logbook software right now to accept signatures. I've got an iPad and I could do a signature with my finger and electronic signature is perfectly valid. And it would work if I could do it all, all in the iPad, but currently we can't. We still need to have paper. So you have two choices. Your two choices are to continue to use your paper logbook and then augment it with an electronic logbook. Now, this is what I've been doing. So I've been copying the information in both, which is hence why my life is a little bit more complicated. I fill out one and then I fill out the other. Or your other option is, is that you print out your logbook pages. And what you do there is that you fill out what you're gonna do, you print it out and then have somebody sign it and keep that printed copy in a logbook. So in both cases, you were using this paper as your logbook. And that's not exactly where the future is going. Eventually, we'll have electronic signatures and everything will work out fine. But right now, that's not the way it is. Anyway, thank you for watching Preflight TV. We're working really hard to produce more episodes than we have been. Two a month is our goal, so look forward to seeing that. If you have any more questions about electronic logbooks, visit the website, preflight.tv, or, or you can email me, mark at preflight.tv. Um, and I look forward to seeing there. Or, in fact, uh, you can call us, leave a voicemail at 206-257-9204. And I look forward to seeing you next time.